Hey Chicho, happy to be alive and see you again. Awesome, awesome. Mujataba Sanchez. I'm the one from Iran. Uh, you are following Iran news these days. By the way, you and Serge Tagian were the one of the main reasons that I grew a full goatee these days. Awesome, awesome. Someone just subbed too, and I'm sorry I missed it. I was reading the chat. Uh, thank you for the sub, by the way. <laughs> or follow either way Zanja salutations by the way gang let me I'm gonna take a little detour right now before I get caught up with the chat since we got a brother from Sanchez uh, from Iran popping in Sanchez uh, we're gonna watch a two minute 22 second two and a half minute video okay and this is related to something we've talked about in the previous uh, previous live stream something that has been the topic of conversation for a while right uh that's the yay comments at the alex jones uh interview right and i mentioned before in a previous video that if you want to get a feel for what really yay was saying right you should look into marlon brando how he made some comments in uh the 80s and then he was forced to go on tv um, late night television and cry and apologize for his mistake and how um mel gibson was uh was called out or mel gibson was deep fried in the media for saying certain comments that he shouldn't have said some of them some of them he just he was he was going to go on a drunken rant and stuff like this but what we're going to do right now what we're going to do right now regarding yay's comment uh, regarding who controls the media and stuff like this and yay said it better than the person that we're about to see right and many other people right it's 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 a it, it, it's it's not a religious organization but it's yay yay called it as call it out as zionist right and he is in large part to a certain degree hollywood and whatnot media there's a huge influence there right so what we're going to do right now, because we're looking back at history, because Ye is not saying anything that's really novel. Ye is just saying it in novel format, right? This is something that many people have known for a very, 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 very long time. It's been going on for a long time for, the, for, for uh, uh, legit reasons, right? It's the same as the comic book industry, right? The media, certain entertainment industry and stuff like this. Like the comic book industry has a huge, huge Jewish influence, right? Not a Zionist influence, but a Jewish influence because a lot of the original creators were Jewish. That's, they, it, was, it was something amazing that the Jewish community, in large parts, a lot of it coming from New York, introduced to the world, right? More power to them. Amazing. Love it, love it, love it, love it right love it love it love it love it right huge fan huge fan as you know okay but Kanye took it to a level where he implied certain things marlon brando implies certain things mel gibson implies certain things and we're about to watch an interview with the shah of iran from 1976 okay from 1976 parroting or one of the original people that stated this fact that Kanye west yay stated in the alex jones interview that everyone's flipping a lid for right now this thing is an interview from 1976 or 75 i believe with the shah of iran and this is a time where shah was coming out and saying a lot of things that he shouldn't have been saying right because he forgot who his masters were right which is why the iranian revolution happened and ayatollah came in while it was being harbored in um he was being he was given a safe haven in europe and all the you the, the connection is huge with the bush administration with bush meeting the um the iranian regime at the time after the coup in europe to hold the hostages longer until the inauguration of reagan it goes so goddamn deep right but the iran contra and all that like if you guys haven't looked in that history learn that history you'll understand everything that is going on in the middle east and the rest of the world in large part you look at the world with a different type of lenses right and this is the time one of one of the main things that a lot of people from that region state and there's other interviews i looked at today just um and yeah today yesterday to uh just to do a little research i wanted to get the right clip out for you guys right um but the shah of iran was feeling very powerful in the 
especially with the OPEC crisis in the 1970s with oil prices kicking up to what was initially like to 20s and then to the 40, 40 range in the 1980, which would have been huge. Just think about it with inflation and stuff. Right now, oil is only at $78, right? In 1980, it was at $40 with interest rates kicking up into the, into the teens, right? Just imagine the impact of that stuff, right? Now, this is the time where the OPEC nations... Uh, Iran being one of them were feeling very strong because they had the West by the ball squeezing really fucking hard right that didn't go over with the masters the ones who installed a lot of these puppets in power right because the Shah of Iran was installed in 1950 58 50, 54 coup with Mossadegh right democratically elected government was elected into the United, uh, into Iran and Iran the first thing the elected government that was nationalized the oil and lo and behold we had a coup going on and Mozatek is out right and the Shah the puppet has been put into power right but this two and a half minute clip okay is mirroring right what Kanye Ye said at the Alex Jones interview in 2020 right so do the mathematics 2020 minus 1976 let's say right what do we got 12 02 92 82 45 plus years right 45 to 50 years ago this is what the shah of iran had to say okay this is what the shah of iran had to say hopefully i'm gonna kill this video and we're gonna watch the watch Two and a half minutes. Apologies to the people who are listening on Lapal Mike. You won't hear this interview, but I'll give you the name of the video so you can search it online. Let me let me kill this. Let me oh hold on. Let me bring up. Let's bring this up. Boing. Okay. The interview is called the Shah of Iran. Uh, the Shah of Iran on the power of the quote Jewish lobby 60 minute interview by Mike Wallace and I've I queued up a whole bunch of these and I've gone through a fair bit of Shah interviews yesterday and today and man it was I love to play you guys some of the stuff maybe we should do a stream just for this stuff okay now now you can find this on BitChute as well as SensorTube okay I'm gonna play the BitChute link and I'm gonna give people in the chat the BitChute link and I'll probably uh, provide the link just for the BitChute link in uh, the chat. Apologies if this one went. I'm going way longer than I expected for this intro. But this is important. Hopefully the sound is going to be okay. We're going to play this, okay? Uh, ba -ba -ba -da 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 -da. Uh, let me make sure I got everything set up properly here. Da -da -da -da. That is all. I'm going to turn off my audio. Surely, Your Majesty, you're not telling me that the Jewish lobby in the United States pulls the strings of the presidency. Not entirely, but I think even a little too much, even for Israel interests. You think the Jewish lobby in the United States is too powerful for the interests of Israel? I think so. Sometimes they are disserving the interests of Israel Explain. because they're pushing around too many people. Well, why would the president of the United States pay attention to that lobby? They are strong. Strong in what sense? They are controlling many things. Controlling what? Newspapers, medias, Your Majesty. Banks, finances, and I'm going to stop there. Well, now wait just a second. You really do believe? that the Jewish community in the United States is that powerful? They make the media reflect their view of foreign policy? Mm -hmm. Yes. They do not report, we do not report honestly? Don't uh, mix things, please. I don't say the media. I say in the media they have people. Not the entire media. Some newspapers will only reflect their, their views, yes. No. The New York Times, for instance is owned by the Salzburger family, who are Jewish. 
Are you suggesting that the New York Times is biased in its treatment of the question of Zionism, Israel's existence, the United States' relationship with the Arab world? I will have to put all the articles of the New York Times written on this subject and draw the conclusion. You can put this to the computer and it will answer you. What you're saying is that yes, you do believe. Well, let's wait for the answer of the computer. Washington Post. The same. The networks. Less. I must say you are speaking with your characteristic candor. Yes, if you like. I try to be candid. I have always been.